Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com. Let's take a look together at this Champion 2500 watt portable gas inverter generator. Now if you're looking for a lightweight inverter generator that's going to give you power for uh, activities such as dry camping, tailgating, or DIY projects, it's going to be a great generator for you to consider. As you can see, we have a built-in handle that's going to make it easy to carry this right to where you need it. And this 2500 watt gas generator features a built-in inverter that's going to let you safely run sensitive electronic devices like HDTVs and computers. And it also features a CO shield that will automatically shut this off if harmful levels of carbon monoxide are detected. It does meet PGMA ANSI G300-2018 standards. But of course, as you know, for your safety, you always want to make sure that you're running this gas power generator outdoors, not indoors. So I've kind of given you just an overview of this. Let me give you a brief overhead view of it just so you can see. Of course, this is where you're going to uh, fill it up with fuel. But I wanted to take a close look at the control panel just to kind of walk through some of the features that this is going to offer. First, we do have this IntelliGage uh, that's going to monitor voltage, frequency run, a uh, frequency rather, run time and lifetime hours. Uh, this is where you're going to uh, see your uh, CO shield LED indicator. And then we have an economy mode button right there. And then AC overload uh, button, reset button right here. And then a low oil warning indicator light. So quite a bit of information in this really nice panel here. And then we have our easy start dial. This is going to be used to start, stop, and choke this generator. Then we have a circuit breakers. You just push to reset. Of course, as you know, this is going to protect the generator against electrical overloads. We do have a ground terminal. And then uh, we also have these parallel outlets. And those are, um, this is where you can use this generator to, uh, this generator to uh, parallel uh, two inverters together for increased power output. The parallel kit is sold separately, but if you uh, would like to check that out in a little bit more detail on your screen, I am including our model number for that parallel kit. You can just take that item number and put it in the search field of our website, and that will take you to that parallel kit if you would like to take a look at it and maybe even add it to your order. We also have two 120 volt AC outlets. Let's see if I can lift that cap up there so you can see. So you can run your household appliances there. If you notice, it does have this cap here that's going to protect it from the elements when it's not in use. And we also have a cap here for our 12 volt DC outlet. And I also wanted to point out that this does have a spark arrestor, so that's an additional feature of this generator. So a really easy to use, uh, easy to uh, view uh, control panel. Uh, you're not going to have to be stumbling around looking for uh, the function that you need. Everything is uh, going to be right. Uh, right at your fingertips and very easy to uh, see. Now this easy to start engine uh, does have uh, this recoil handle that's going to give you reliable startup even in cold weather. This generator does feature a uh, Champion 80cc four-stroke overhead valve engine. Of course, this uses the stand standard unleaded gas. I'm just going to pop this panel off here just so you can get a view of the inside. It's going to be pretty easy to pull this off. So you get a view of the inside. This is where you can uh, add the oil. You probably saw this, but it does include a bottle of oil along with a funnel to easily add the oil. So hopefully you got a nice view of the inside there. This panel is going to be very easy to remove and replace. I'm just going to line this back up here. And it's going, uh, once, once we have it uh, in place, then it just tightens down with these knobs right here. And it feels really solid. 
um, especially when you have that panel back on. Uh, it's it's going to do a great job of keeping it safe from the elements. The uh, gas tank has a capacity of 1.05 gallons. So this, this is a clean running engine. It does meet EPA standards. And what's nice about this generator is there's no need to mix gas and oil. So it's going to be uh, very, uh, very easy to run. Uh, it also includes a spark plug wrench uh, with this generator. Now the starting surge power output is 2,500 watts. The running rated power output is 1,850 watts. And then the continuous run time at a quarter of a load is 11 and a half hours. Now this generator will run quietly so it won't drown out your campground conversation. And as I pointed out when we were looking at this panel together, this does have an eco mode or an economy mode. So when you have that economy mode activated, that's going to reduce engine noise and it does conserve fuel to increase the run time. The quiet operation basically produces the same noise level as uh, like your dishwasher running in the next room. So when this is dry, when you don't have any fluids in it, fuel or oil, this is going to weigh a little bit under 40 pounds. And just to give you an idea of the, the size of it, Looking at the overall length from end to end, we're sitting at about 17 and 5 eighths inches long. The overall width, we're sitting at about 12 and 5 eighths inches wide. And then the overall height from the top of the handle all the way to the base, about 18 and 1 eighth inches tall. Instructions are going to be included with this to um, go over in a little bit more detail all of the features that it has and to uh, help you make sure that you are uh, running this the way that it's intended. But overall, uh, this is going to be a great item to consider if uh, you are looking for a generator this size um, for uh, some of those activities that we mentioned at the beginning of our time together. Well, I think that's going to wrap up our look today. I do hope that our time together has been helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.